What's going on guys? We are heading over to the hay field right now. I'm gonna have to spray it today. So the first thing I gotta do, I've got all the chemicals in the back of my truck. I need to drop them off at the shop because that's where I mix up the sprayer. And then we'll run back and get the sprayer and get started. So if you missed the video where I planted this field, I'll leave a link for it in the description. But the hay is made up of oats, wheat, and barley, which are all considered grasses. Well, they are grasses. And because of that, we can go through with some broadleaf herbicide and that'll get rid of the majority of the bad weeds that are out there. Now, a lot of this hay I will feed to my cows. And honestly, it doesn't matter that much if there's weeds in it for them. I mean, I would prefer that it's clean. But the main reason that I want to clean the field up is because the hay that I don't feed to my cows, I sell to people that own horses and horse people do not like weeds in their hay. So we want to try to make the hay as clean as we can for them and we can get top dollar for it that way, which you know is always a good thing. So we are almost back to, uh, I'm borrowing the sprayer. I do have a sprayer, but I don't have GPS. And when you're spraying in an open field like that, it's really nice to have GPS because you go straight and you don't have to worry about if you're overlapping or if you're underlapping or what. So I'm gonna run over to my friend's place right now and grab the sprayer. We'll drive it back to the field and then we can get started. All right, so this is a spray rig that we're using. It's just a Honda four-wheeler with a 100 gallon spray tank. This thing will do a 30 foot pass. So um, it's nice. You can go pretty fast with it. So you can cover a lot of acres, but let's get back over to the shop, mix up our load, and I'll show you a little bit more about it. Alright guys, so we're out here at the field and we've got our load all mixed up. Just wanted to give you a better look at the sprayer now that we've got it opened up. Uh, we've got a 30 foot boom back here and I think I already said we go about 6 miles an hour. And we have a little over 30 acres here to cover. So not a huge field, but still we should get over it pretty fast with this rig. So I am going to start up the motor on the sprayer and let that mix agitate for a little while and get it nice and mixed up and we'll get going. So while that mixes up, I'll give you a little bit of kind of what we're doing here. Um, the first thing we got to do is just go around the perimeter of the field. And the reason that we do that is so when I do get onto my straight passes, that when I go to turn around, I'm not overlapping. Um, I can see the line from my headland pass. That's what it's called when you go around the outside. I see the line from my headland pass and I can turn the boom off and then I can go ahead if I need to stop to turn around or whatever I need to do. And I've got plenty of room to do it. So I'll usually do one and a half or two headland passes and that will give me plenty of room to make my turn. And after that's done, I can set my AB line on the GPS and then that will give me straight passes to finish up the field. It's the most efficient way to do it. Um, so that's what we do. We're out here spraying and the hay's short. It's a good time to find like sticks and stuff that you don't want ended up in your bale. I've really only got this tree to worry about. Uh, most of the other field, or most of the rest of the field, is should stay pretty clean because there just aren't any trees to drop branches in. 
So, if we don't do this now, we'll regret it. <laughs> So, as long as we're stopped, I thought I'd kind of show you some of the target weeds that we're going after. Any of like this little kind of broad leaf stuff we don't want. Now, that weed, I'm not sure what it's called. I get it every year. It will never grow very tall and you hit it with the spray, that'll, that'll stop it and then the hay will kind of grow up and get ahead of it. And eventually it will just shade it out so it's it won't really end up in the bale but um there are other weeds like one i'm <laughs> trying to walk over to right now that are a little bit more of an issue that will get big and will compete with the hay and outgrow um outgrow the hay so like that guy right there we don't want him he's gonna get big so I might even slow the four-wheeler down a little bit when I go over that one. <laughs> but as I walk around out here, most of this hay is probably 10 inches tall, which honestly, I waited too long to spray it. I should have sprayed it when it was more like four. Four inches is perfect, six inches is okay. But since you're in a ground rig, you're kind of limited as to when you can do it. Obviously we can't come out here when it's really muddy or we get buried. So this is just kind of the best we can do. So that's what we're doing. Okay guys, so we got our headlands done. Now we got to set our AB line. So what that is, is I don't know if you'll be able, you probably won't be able to see the screen on the phone. Maybe. Anyway, an AB line is where the GPS, I can tell it to set a point right here where I'm sitting. And I can drive to the other end of the field and set another point and it will make a line between the two points so that my next pass is perfectly parallel to the line that I just set. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so after I set point B, I want to point out that it doesn't matter how straight I drive when I'm going from A to B, it won't mimic my path. It will make a straight line between the two points. So I could set point A, I could drive all the way to the ocean and back and set point B, it would just make me a straight line right here on my field. So now that I have my AB line set, I don't know how well this shows up on camera, but I've got these three green lights right there. If I'm dead on track, the three green lights will be illuminated. If I start getting off, a red light will show up in the direction that I'm off. So if I see red lights coming up on the right side, I want to turn to the left and just get back in the green. So it's a, there's a little bit of an art to it, but we're going to try it and see how it goes. Right, guys well once I get to the other end of the field here I'm gonna be done so 
Um, I just wanted to show you one thing though. This new field, got a bunch of broadleaf out here. I didn't realize that it was this bad. I really should have been out here about a month earlier, but I got nobody to blame for that but me. So live and learn. Um, it's my mistake, so I got to deal with it. But hopefully this application of spray will knock that stuff back pretty good. And by the time we cut and bale it, maybe things will look a little bit better. But until now, this is about all we can do today. So thanks for hanging out with me and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.